I think my favorite death of any character in any action movie ever is from World War Z, where the one researcher is trying. They're in like South oh, Korea, Jesus and they're God. running back into the C one thirty, and he uh. slips and accidentally shoots himself. I was like, "That's exactly the type of dumb shit that would happen." In real <laughs> All right, life. don't get me on fucking That's, World War Z right now, dude. Why? What, what do I not know? What did I do? You know, my whole sleeve is World War Z, right? No. Like, yeah, I have no, a whole. I, tattoo oh, I know the sleeve. I didn't Z. realize that's what it was. Yes, yeah, World War Z, because they fucked up the movie so bad. It was pretty oh, bad. Oh no, was there a book? Also, the yeah. book's way the better. The book is so good, man. Oh, the book follows God. around. It's it's several chapters of learning how different people dealt with the with the zombie apocalypse. So you got like Navy divers, which is what mine is. They're at the bottom of the ocean, like trying to follow around zombies, seeing how they're still walking around, even though the pressure would kill them. And then there's like an army infantry guy that they follow around for a chapter. And then there's like a nun they follow around for a chapter. And it's so fucking good. And all they had to do was turn that into an HBO miniseries or mm. something like that, you know? Like each episode was following around a certain character during the zombie apocalypse. And it just fucked that movie. That's all I'm saying. Okay. All right. It could have been so I agree. Much that one yeah. death in the C 130 stuff. I know. You have to admit, like, that's the most realistic shit on the planet. <laughs> fucking I was idiot. surprised they gave him a gun in the first place. That was also true. I would have handed them a gun. He'd be like, what do I do? I'm like, yep, never mind. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> But that's my thing. It's like it's a complete newbie thing of like you gave somebody that's not a gun person a gun, and of course they were at a full sprint with their finger on the fucking trigger because why wouldn't you do that? I True. guess you know what I mean. Like, all right. Also, the fucking World War Z. Oh, I got Cody's tism going. No, yeah, yeah. 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 Go World War Z. Go off. Go off. Go off. Yeah. They had fucking running zombies in that movie. Yeah. Because what they did is they went to Max Brooks, who was Mel Brooks' son, who wrote the book. Yep. And they said, we, you know, he probably just wanted to make money at the time. And they're like, oh, what if we put Brad Pitt in a movie with running zombies? And then they didn't follow the fucking storyline of the book at all, which is like one of the most amazing books ever. Because they follow That's like sad. how countries reacted to the situation. Yes. Yeah, yes. like with North it's, Korea removing teeth and shit. Yeah, yeah, and it was like, hey, and those countries worked really good. They're like, we don't care about our civilians anyways. Zombies, yeah. we really don't give a yeah, shit. You can, get a lot of shit. you can get a lot of shit done when you don't care about human rights. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're not going to have a zombie outbreak. Right? Even so, I'll so give yeah. communism credit for that. You get yeah. shit done yeah. quick. In the, in the, in the, <laughs> uh, yeah, in the movie, North Korea removed everyone's teeth <laughs> so they couldn't bite anymore. In the book, Cuba is the world superpower. In North Korea, they don't know what's going on in North Korea and no one wants to touch it. Because they haven't seen any satellite activity there for so long. And they're scared if they go into North Korea, there's going to be some kind of booby trap that sets off nuclear weapons. So everyone leaves North Korea around or alone. And Cuba is the world superpower because all the rich people <laughs> from Miami started going there with all their money and shit. And yeah, I, sorry, I can go on about World War Z. Good. So, yeah, I like it. I think yeah. my biggest complaint with slow zombies like in America, I don't think it would be an issue. Like maybe at first there's like a, a crowd of them, but everyone has guns here. It'd be like, hey man, you still have to show up to your nine to five. We just got some walkers out in the parking lot. You gotta go shoot real quick. Yeah, Dude, that's a hundred percent. But, but, like, but you still, no, still have to go to work. You got to think yeah. about how many, for sure, <laughs> how many fucking stupid people there are that would get bit, and that would just multiply by ten every single Bro, fucking the, day. The part that makes me mad is that like if we had um, not World War Z. Um, walking dead zombies there would be fucking college students out there protesting that we they, like they have rights and we shouldn't hurt them i know dude i'm just, just i'm just thinking about so like mad nick i you, i'm not yeah. wrong though there would be I know, somebody that's why I'm so with a fucking now. liberal arts degree out there being like they should still be allowed to vote zombies okay? have rights yeah <laughs> they, they should be allowed to vote it through congress that they can eat our brains they have rights too <laughs> <laughs> compelling <Jesus>. face the wall <laughs> Bro, I'm just thinking about living in like, like I live in a nice neighborhood right now. Mm. I think that m like myself and one of my neighbors could be able to defend themselves. We're gay. You're like, yeah, we got gated communities. And yeah, but every other person in their house would become zombies. So they would be wandering up to my house and there would be, I don't know, a hundred, a hundred zombies out there. That would be really hard to defend myself. I don't know. I counter argument. I think like those slow zombies, like from The Walking Dead. It's like four and a half. If minutes. I had a good breakfast <laughs> and I wasn't even using a gun, I could probably go out and kill easily a hundred zombies, like without, without you know, without getting tired at the end of the day. Like yeah. get a little bit of armor on. Like if I'm in like a full plate suit from like the medieval era and I have like a claw hammer, I'm gonna go out there. <laughs> boom, boom. 
fatal funnel them down, even if they like swarm me, I'm in a full plate armor. Like I'm going to be like, yeah, I'll be pinned there for a while. But I'm like, all right, this is going to suck. But I could absolutely wreck a hundred slow moving. I mean, like zombies. realistically, the entire situation would be contained in like a matter of months, and yeah. then the only zombies that would still be around would be like on private ranches in Texas, and then rich people could shoot them from helicopters. And they keep them realistically, breeding. that would like be what would happen. <laughs> yeah. the, dude, I just way. like Cody's cover story. <laughs> My neighbors turned to zombies. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all this food. I got. Dude, <laughs> the way the way that they solve it in the book is so fucking good. Oh, like the the sand, they had sandlers and they yeah they 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 would set up a square Nick of happy. like infantry men, <laughs> and then they would blast Metallica to draw them in. Yeah, and they would practice for headshot, 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 and they would just have thousands of bodies surrounding the square of infantry men. It's like it's a really cool. I'll be pretty so mad about the smell though. Yeah, it would suck. Yeah. I mean, realistically, they already smell like dead bodies. Like, I know. You know that's what I mean? why I'd be so them. mad. <laughs> right. Now like, they're all around your house. You're like, fuck, God. And you had to move all these dead bodies away from your house. You get fucking bulldozers <laughs> just pushing uh, them up. You know what the most realistic, <laughs> like, a post-apocalyptic horror movie that triggers me the most is? A mm. Quiet Place. Because that's exactly how I feel, like, what my life would actually be like in the apocalypse. Like, now that I have a wife and kids, like, it's just a quiet place is just like one epic saga of a father trying to get his family to shut the <laughs> up and quit trying to do <laughs> stupid shit for like five minutes so they cannot die. And then right off the bat, his kid, I'm going to shove batteries in a fire truck. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dad, it's a like, fuck. It's just what? desperately trying to keep his family alive. It's the most <laughs> realistic thing. It's impossible. It would be. Oh, if you're my. a dad, you're playing Apocalypse on fucking hardcore mode. Yeah. There's no other. Like, yeah. Try explaining it to like Raiden. <laughs> like, like, I got Johnny, nerfed. Why are you being so quiet? I'm like, <laughs> bro, <laughs> shut the fuck <laughs> up, Raiden. <laughs> but daddy, <laughs> the, this is an emergency time. Especially the, mm -hmm. the opening is on train tracks too. Raiden would be like, dad, dad. <laughs> <laughs> Father, why are we around here? <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Eli's killed so many monsters. Yeah, my son, you won't shut the f*** up. I'm so tired. I'm so fucking tired. Dude. I'm so tired. <laughs> you know no, what I mean? Riley <laughs> right, like can figure out the frequency pretty quick, though. Daddy, yeah. they work off a of frequency. Oh, thanks, kid. As he's wearing his headphones. Yeah. It's like, this sound is really annoying, father. <laughs> Listen, I don't hear anything. <laughs> the monster look. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm so confused what's going on. I'm like, what did you figure out, kid? <laughs> the monster needs headphones. <laughs> no! Son! Oh my I will God. go flank. <laughs> oh. Like, fuck! Suppressing fire. Alright, oh draw him out, kid. <laughs> Dude, running zombies would suck dick, though, because that was the first time watching um, 28 Days Later. Oh, Ooh, that that yeah. disease would really fucking that would suck. suck. Yeah, uh, those would thankfully die in like thirty days where they starve to death. But that disease, you could see why it spread so fast. Yeah, yeah. Drop in blood instantly. <laughs> oh, oh, I what's like his name? what was that actor? You mean when the 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 drop of blood fell into his eye from a crow or yeah. something? Yeah, yeah. The crow was biting the body and it fell into his eye, and he just instantly turned. And he was there with his daughter. Those are the two things. It's like. Nah, running zombies and that disease rage. Yeah. No thanks. Any disease there was rage. Like, God, I forget what, who did the video. There was some doctor that did a video on how like get it, get it. Like the running zombies, he's like how it could actually work, and he just talks about how like your brain has um, mechanisms in it that like prevents you from exerting so much strength that you tear muscles. Yes, your um, it's literally your um, like your neuron, your. Um, like your neural pathways and stuff like yeah. there's limits where your body's just gonna be like, nah, we're going to go ahead and let your muscles fail before they rip themselves in half. And he's like, theoretically, there's no reason a virus couldn't just override those. And like the zombies Nerf would have a hundred percent super strength literally until they rip themselves apart. He, and he's like, so theoretically you could have like a 150 pound woman with more strength than a 250 pound man, just because 250 pound man's just running at 60% all the time. And she's running at 110 with no limiters on. Yeah. And, As, it's, and like the virus will obviously be pushing your adrenaline just right. to fucking. Yeah. And he like breaks down like, that's terrifying. <laughs> yeah. It's absolutely terrifying. It's no different than, um, kind of what happened in, uh, 
uh, what's the video game that turned into a HBO series? Last oh, of the us. zombie one, Last La- of Us. Yeah. Last of Us, because that is the ants that get infected by that, where the ants just crawl towards sunlight and then die, and then they'll spread it with other ants, but then the it uh, forms out of their head and body to get light or a photosynthesis to live, and you're like, that's fucking terrifying. God, well, what's the uh, I I. Granted, this is not real information, but like some of the, I don't know if it's real, but like some of the where you like Rogan has these people on that talk about like fungus and shit. And they're like 30% of the soil everywhere on earth is just dead fungal material. And it's like, oh, the, the giant earth, all of earth is one giant fucking mushroom. That's what's that just was, wrapped everywhere. And that's why it makes the last of us so scary because that was a fungal and how they whatever. started the last of us that intro was like the hardest hitting intro I mean, it was like that 70s or 80s talk show and then that doctor's talking about all the things that fungus could do or fungal infections and you're like oh yeah that's where i'm scared <laughs> you have something Ugh. controlling you with no well, have you seen the fungal infection how, about my ex-girlfriend? how japan <laughs> optimized their subways Mm-mm. they're like japan opt um they were like trying to figure out how to optimize their subways or whatever. So they made like a fucking Petri dish with fungus on it. And they had different drops of uh, nutrients on all the locations. They made the Petri dish a copy of the city that they were trying to figure out. And the nutrient drops that they put were the main hubs pickups of where they needed to pick people up for the subway station. And then they put the fungus in and the fungus just kind of branched out everywhere at random, figured out where the nutrients were and then optimized its entire structure and then Japan built their, like their subway system based off of what fungus did That's to figure so out the most efficient way smart. to do it. Because like it's fungus terrifying. just figured out the most efficient way possible. That is terrifying. It's horrifying, <laughs> isn't it? Yes. 